Hello everyone, Michelle Schull here, Health Service Coordinator, along with the USD 457 Public School Nurses. We would like to share some information with you regarding the novel coronavirus to help keep you and your family healthy during these confusing times. You've heard a lot of people talking about a new type of coronavirus called COVID-19, and you might be wondering, what on earth is it? The coronavirus is a virus. Viruses are tiny particles that are so small, we can't see them with our eyes, but they can make us sick. We can see viruses under a microscope. A microscope zooms way in to see tiny particles that we can't see with our eyes alone, almost like binoculars. When we look at different viruses under the microscopes, they all look different, but even though they're different, they all have something in common. Viruses all have little pieces that stick out of them, and those pieces that are sticking out are designed to stick to different parts of the body depending on what kind of virus it is. I'm sure all of you know someone who has had to take some time off of school due to the common cold. The common cold is a type of coronavirus. The type of coronavirus that causes the common cold has pieces that are designed to attach to the cells in your nose and your throat. This can leave your nose really stuffy and can cause you to feel very miserable. Usually with the common cold, you get plenty of rest, drink lots of water, and possibly someone in your home may give you medicine if they know it'll make you feel better. The COVID-19 version of the coronavirus also has pieces that are designed to stick to the cells, but more specifically, the cells in our lungs. Our lungs help us breathe, so some people who are getting this new type of coronavirus are feeling stuffy in their lungs, and that can make them have a hard time breathing. They can have this difficulty breathing in addition to other common symptoms like aches and pains, nasal congestion, runny nose, sore throat, or upset stomach. Anyone can get or spread the virus. It doesn't matter how old you are, and it doesn't matter where you or your parents are from. It seems that almost all children and young people who get COVID-19 virus don't get very sick because their immune systems are able to fight off those viruses. Almost no people under the age of 18 had severe symptoms. Luckily, most people who get this virus will have mild symptoms. But some people can get very, very sick from this virus. This can, can include older people like grandparents or people who have already had other problems with their health. These people are not able to fight it off as well. We can work together to keep this virus from spreading to people who may have a hard time fighting it. How can we stop it? Well, the virus doesn't have legs, so it can't walk around to different people. And it doesn't have wings, so it can't fly around to different people. That means to get into our lungs, the virus needs our help. Our mission is to not help the COVID-19 virus get into our bodies. Let's imagine that we have a little COVID-19 on this cup. Now I know that the virus really isn't on the cup, but we're, we're just going to pretend. So if I touch the side of this cup, I can get the virus on my hand. So don't panic if you get the virus on your skin because it hasn't gotten inside your body yet. But it really wants to get inside your body and also into your lungs. This is why we tell you to wash your hands often, especially before you eat. Now the ways that the virus can get into your body is through your mouth, your nose, and your eyes. So when you're rubbing your eyes because they itch, or picking your nose for a boogie, or touching your mouth with hands that have not been cleaned, this all needs to be avoided because this is how you can get the virus. This is how you can become infected and also spread it to others. So you can see that washing your hands is very important. So let's go wash our hands. How we wash our hands matters. Soap is the most important part of the process. You need to scrub your hands for at least 20 seconds before you rinse them with water. This ensures all the germs will get off. To do this 20 seconds, I always say sing the ABC song nice and slow, or you could sing happy birthday to me two times, or you could just set a timer. Some times that we need to wash our hands would be coming in from outdoors, after we play with pets, 
um, after using the restroom and always before we eat any food. So once we practice this right amount of time washing, it will be right all the time you wash. The other way you can get COVID-19 is if someone who is sick coughs right on you. Yuck! What happens is their snot and spit carries the virus and gets right in your face. Gross! You see people wearing masks right now and that is designed to keep their snot and spit inside the mask and not all over everyone else. If you're gonna sneeze and you don't have anything to cover your face, cover your, el cover your nose and your mouth with your elbow like this. Achoo! Don't sneeze in your hands. Achoo! Because then anything you touch could be covered with your snot and spit. Gross! It's also important to stay at least six feet away from others so the coronavirus droplets don't get on you. We are all being very extra careful to stay home right now so that we don't spread the virus by accident to someone who might get very sick. You can help stop the virus by staying home, covering your cough or sneeze with an elbow, achoo, or correctly washing your hands often and keeping your hands away from your face. That means your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. In fact, Governor Kelly and President Trump have asked us all to stay at home for a short time until we're sure we have stopped the spread of the coronavirus. That means that unless you have to get out for an essential activity, like buying groceries or going to the doctor, you should stay at home. If you have to be together with other people, you should have no more than 10 people together at a time, and everyone should try to stay at least six feet away from each other. I know that may seem really hard to do right now, but just know we're all going to be back together very soon. In the meantime, this is a great opportunity to do the schoolwork, uh, which your teachers have given you, chores around the house, read and play games with your family. This is also a great time to go outside and play, but remember, you must stay six feet away from others. So, what are you supposed to do if you feel sick? If you have a fever of 100.4 or higher, you are achy, and have a cough or shortness of breath, then you should call your doctor. Always call your doctor's office first. Don't just go into the office. Or you can call the Finney County Health Department for more information at 272-3600. So hopefully you can understand just a little bit better about COVID-19 and how you can help stop this virus from spreading. If you'd like for more information, you can get on your smartphone or computer and go to cdc.gov or kdehe.gov. If you'd like to contact your school nurse, you can go to gckschools.com and click on the Health Services tab.